Well, hello everybody. This is Reverend Gloria Harlow Drummond. Today's date is uh, October the 14th, 2017. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to uh, copy my Facebook video that I did earlier, and also I'm going to get on here after a while and do the one I did yesterday. I got distracted. You know, the three D's. Distraction. Dis distru destruction. Destruction. That distraction, distru disruptions, and the big D disrespect too. But anyway, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try to do this real quick. So God bless you all. I love you. This is to my subscribers. So I love you all in Jesus' precious holy name. I give him all the honor and the glory and the praise. In his precious holy name, I pray. So I'm gonna try to turn this turn this around I'm gonna get this ready get this ready get this ready okay hang on just a second I'm gonna turn this around I think that's about right I think it is oh shoot well, I had it right. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. It worked before. Wow. Oh, hang on just a second. I gotta think of another way to do this. It never fails. It never fails. That's what I did before. Well, well, I'm just going to have to hold I'll just probably just have to hold it. I'll just have to hold it. That's okay. It's okay. Can I get a thank God? Hallelujah. All right, I'm going to have to just hold this. It worked before when I did it. I, don't, I must have done something else. I don't know. I'm just going to have to hold it, people, so bear with me. This is important. Okay. I'm going to just... Well, I'm live. Well, hello, everybody. This is this is Reverend Pastor Gloria. I've, I've got, I'm doing this on my phone today because the wind is blowing again, and it, it, it tends to blow my tablet, my I, iPad off, da, over. So anyway, um, I'm going to start this out with the Lord's Prayer. I'm going to do the Lord's Prayer. Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven... Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. There's nobody on here yet, which is fine, which is fine. I love you all. Jesus, Jesus loves you. And, um... I want to read Revelation 8. It's about witchcraft. I know I was on here yesterday. I said I was going to get back on with some Bible verses. Well, I've got at least a few of them. And that's Revelation 21, chapter 21, verse, verses 8. But I'm going, to, I'm going to read all of, of 21. Because we have to be mighty, mighty, mighty careful. Now, in, in these last days, in this last few days, I've been feeling kind of eerie. And I know why. I know why. Because Halloween's coming up. And that's Satan's holiday. That's Satan's holiday. I went to the mall. And I didn't stay out there very long. It was after I did my, my video yesterday. I just had an eerie feeling. I had an eerie feeling, so we went back home. We went back home. Welcome to whoever ha has joined. I'm Reverend Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my, to my Facebook video. I'm going to read Revelations. I'm going to read Revelations. This is about witchcraft. This is about witchcraft. A person has to be mighty, mighty, mighty careful. All we can do is try to warn, try to warn the people. And as I said yesterday, if they don't listen, then, then it's, it's out of our hands. It, you know, that's all we can do is warn. Because we won't be held accountable. God will not help, hold us accountable as long <clears throat> as we're trying to get the word out. Amen? Amen? All right, here we go. Revelations chapter 21. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start reading it. 
Do you want to follow along with me? You can. It said I had one on there, but I don't know. But anyway, praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God, and be with their, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. We, we won't remember the former things. We won't remember. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Right, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. And that's in reference to Isaiah 12, 3 and Revelation 1, 8. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. All right, verse 8, verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death, which is the second death. All right. Let's see. I know what I did. I know what I did the last what else time. it says about it. I don't know if I can pause this or not. I know there are, there are lots of scriptures about, um, with, about witchcraft. I know what I did the last time. I didn't have time to, to really get in into finding them. I was kind of in a hurry to, to get out of the house. And... <clears throat> Let's see. Hang on Only just a happens second. to me, people. <laughs> you know, there's reasons why that God has called so many people. Darlene, well, hello, Darlene. Well, hey, sweetheart, I'm glad you joined. Hang in there, but people. But there are so many people that God has called. And there are still those that say that a woman should not. I need your help for a minute. A, 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 a woman cannot be ordained to be a minute. preacher. And that is not true. That's not true. You I have know to what read I'm the trying whole to do. book of, of, of Corinthians. It's talking to, to the Corinthians. You have to read the whole thing, and some people take it out of context. Matthew J. Bryant, John. Well, hello. Hello. I'm Pastor Reverend Gloria. Welcome to hang my on scope. There, hang on there, people. God bless you. Move okay, that shoebox for a minute. My Facebook video. I'm so used to being on Periscope. Um, but I was reading. You know, All right. Back set this down. Reading, uh, Revelations chapter I know now what I did. I'm going to need that in here in a minute. I'm going to need it. I, was, I know now what I did. talking about witchcraft. I know now what there I did. There are many ways, many means of a person can get mixed up into witchcraft. Well, God bless still you not too. It. It's okay. They oh, are lost yeah. and stuck. I need yes, that. they are, Darlene. Yes, they are. I need that. And like I said, there there are other scriptures. And, and when no. I get home after a while, I'll look, up, I'll look them all up. About, set that um, long ways. Uh, about witchcraft and other Praise things. God, like hallelujah. I thought I heard it. Doing what God has Thank you, Joseph. You he to comes do. to my defense. Oh, I am, darling. I am. He comes to my defense Praise again. God, hallelujah. And we can do all things through Christ. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Who strengthens us. No demon in hell is going to keep Reverend Pastor Gloria off of the media. No demon in hell. Amen. Amen. And I'll say it again. Anybody that says that a woman can't be a preacher, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking Praise about. God they're taking Hallelujah. some of the Bible out of context. you got to read the whole thing. They were talking to the Corinthians. Paul was talking to the, I think it was Paul, talking to the Corinthians for the women to keep silence in the church. Because women were, were acting out of line. Back well, them centuries ago, they were acting out of line. So they said... Let your husband go home and ask your husband the question. And now, something else I want to say too. Now then, if a, if a woman is married to a pastor, to a to a minister, then she's she's supposed to stand by her man, a hundred percent, stand by her man. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm not married. I'm not married. If if the Lord, I'm married to Jesus. I'm married to Jesus. And the Lord, if He wants me to have a mate. If he wants me to have the right mate, he will he will send me the right one. He will send me the right one. Amen. And I know, I hope anyway, may, may it be God's will, because he doesn't want he doesn't want us being lonely. 
We have him, yes, we have him. But he wants, he, he, he made Adam and Eve. You know, he made Eve as Adam's mate for Adam, you know, never mind anything else. That, well, they sinned and all that, yeah. But a, a man isn't supposed to be lonely. A woman isn't supposed to be lonely. A woman isn't supposed to be, they're not supposed to be lonely. And, but I will not marry a man that doesn't believe in Jesus. I will not marry a man that, that does not believe in God. You know, and that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Because my God comes first. The man that I marry, the man that I marry has to put God above everything else or anyone else. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. And if I get lucky enough to, to, to find one that, that is a minister, even better, even better. He doesn't have to be a minister as long as long as he believes in the, in Jesus and believes that, that he was raised from the dead and he's God's son. That's good enough. That's good enough for me. And willing to learn, willing to learn, you know, and become closer to the Lord. Come closer to the Lord, you know. I mean, because when you marry, if, if, if when you're with a partner and that this partner is not a believer, it's very hard. It's very very hard to be able to communicate. But you can't. You can't because they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it, you know. I mean, so now the wind's kind of died down now. But I mainly want to get on here and read uh, uh, Revelation chapter 21. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And like I said before, um, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And... I said on here yesterday, I said on, on here yesterday, that if Gloria Harlow can do this, anybody can do it with my type of nerves. But praise God, I'm healed. I had I had a social anxiety disorder where you have panic attacks. I rebuke them now. I rebuke them. If I feel like one coming on, I rebuke it and send it back to the pit of hell. Because the devil seeks to kill, steal, and destroy he seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. Gloria ain't going to be killed, and he's not going to steal from me no more. And don't never let the devil rob you of your joy. Never, never, never. So, um, let's see. Whoa. Blow, blow my, ooh, blow my pages like it did yesterday. Let's see, um. Hang in with me for a little bit, darling. Bless your heart. I'm glad you joined, honey. Glad you joined. Let's see. Boy, it feels so nice. It's so nice and warm out here today. It's beautiful out here today. Let's see. Looking for something else in here. Okay, hang on just a minute. Like I said, I knew I was going to get back on here. I knew it. I knew I was going to get back on here. But I said yesterday, you know, that I was going to look up some scriptures about, about witchcraft. And I have, I do have a couple of friends <clears throat> that does believe in, he, he, he says that, that there are good witches and there are bad witches. None of it is good. None of it's good. Myra White joined. Well, hello. Good afternoon, Myra. I'm Sister Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my, to my, to my video. Praise God. Hallelujah. And, uh, let's see, I'm trying to find, all right, even though I get a bit nervous when I get on here, more so than I am when I'm on Periscope, and I am on Periscope, by the way, too, and, uh, my YouTube channel is Jesus Says He Answered, Gloria Drummond, I still get a little nervous, but I do it, like I said yesterday, I do it, why? Because I love Jesus, and I can do all things, we can do all things through, through Christ. Let's see. Hang on just a minute here. If I can do this without. Let's see. There's something else I wanted to read. Still, so it shows only one. Well, shoot. I'm gonna have to get. I'll have to get better. Better prepared. See, I'm just learning. I'm still learning. I've been. I have been in a active. I mean, in church. I was years and years ago. Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Good, darling. Um, but I got away from the Lord through the years. I got away from the Lord. I'd come back to the Lord, get away from the Lord. I wasn't in church. And right now, this is my church. My, my periscopes are my, is my, ch my, my church. My YouTube videos are my church. 
you know, until or unless the, the, the Lord blesses me with the building, you know. And I said yesterday for the for the believers, I meant a building to congregate together, you know, and worship the Lord. And everybody would be everybody welcome, you know, come as you are, come as you are. Jesus, look, just as I am, just as I am. That's why I should I should have added that on yesterday, but I didn't. But anyway, um, let's see. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. Let's see. All right, let's read Isaiah 51, how about? Darlene's still on there. Myra's still on there. Okay. Like I said, I'm just a woman that loves the Lord, and I'm not perfect by no means. By no means, I'm not perfect. And he doesn't want perfect people because there isn't anybody perfect. There's none righteous. Anybody that points their finger at you and says you're going to hell for this and going to hell for that, that's wrong to do that. We have not the right to judge no one. We have we have but one judge, but one judge. And we will all have to stand before the Lord at the judgment seat of Christ. We'll all have to stand before the throne. We will all have to. So, all right, I'm going to go there with the paper. Okay, I'm going to read Isaiah 51. I'm just letting the Lord lead. Thank you all for joining, and to any of the, any of the replay viewers, God bless you. I'm glad that you joined, and feel free to, to share this share this out. Share this. We, we have to get the word out. Share this out. All right. It says, "Hearken unto me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord. Look unto the rock when ye are hewn, and to the hole of the pit where ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bare you. For I called him alone and blessed him and cr increased him." For the Lord shall comfort Zion, he will comfort her all her waste places, and he will make her wildernesses like Eden, and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. At the top of the page says, place your trust in God, and there here comes the sun. Place your trust in God. All right. Yeah, hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation, for a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. My righteousness is near, my salvation is gone forth, and mine arms shall judge the people. The isles shall wait upon me, and on my arms shall they trust. It says, Lift up your eyes to the heavens, and look upon the earth beneath. For the heavens shall vanish away like the smoke, and the earth shall wax Wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. My righteousness sh shall not be abolished. Wow. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in who whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye afraid of their revelings. Amen. Hallelujah. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake, as in the ancient days, in the generations of old. Art thou not in that hath cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? Art thou in not it which hath dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, that hath made the depths of the sea a way for the ransom to pass over? Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow, and mourning shall flee away, like I said, like I said well ago. There'll be no more pain, no more sorrow. All we have to do is just, hello, well, hello uh, Sister Debbie. Glad that you joined. Glad that you joined. And I'm Pastor Reverend Gloria. I'm reading out of Isaiah chapter 51. I, I read um, Revelation 21, uh, verse 8 was the main was the main one. It talking about witchcraft, and there, there are other verses about that too. I've got, I'm going to have to look them up. Let's see. All right. All right. Verse 12 of Isaiah 51. It says, "I even I am He that comforteth you. Who art thou, and that?" that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass. And forgettest the Lord thy maker, that hath stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth, and hast feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor, as if he were ready to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? Or made himself ready. Okay, verse 15, verse 15. 
but I am the Lord thy God that divided the sea, whose waves roared. The Lord of hosts is his name. We are living in the last days, people. Look at all the floods, the fires, the fires. And, and you know, he said in, in the word that he destroyed the earth once with water. Next will come fire. Next would, would be fire. He ain't playing around. God ain't playing around. We believe the, the Bible. We believe what, what God's word says. And it would be like the days the days of sorrow. The, the, I mean, the days of, well, yeah, but the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot. What are we in them days? That Like the days of Noah were. The days of Noah were. What are we, what, what's going on now? What's going on now? Like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot. God even, tr God even told Lot's wife not to turn back. What did she do? She turned back and he turned her to a pillar of salt because she disobeyed God. She disobeyed God. Listen, people, God is a very loving God, but he's, but he's also a just God. He's a jealous God. He wants, he wants our undivided attention. He wants our undivided attention. Amen? He wants our undivided attention. And there's lots of distractions, disruptions. I call it the three Ds. The, the three Ds. Distractions, disruptions, disrespect, and being disobedient. Being dis disobedient and also destroy because Satan comes to seal. He seeks to, to, to steal, steal and hold on a minute. There's people out here. Oh, I want to get this right. To steal. He seeks to kill, steal and destroy. He roams around to, to, to see who, who he can devour. He's doing it more every day, every day. To get people away from the Lord. To get people away from Jesus. That's his job because he knows he has but a short time. He knows he has but a short time. And people people will say, yeah, they've been saying that for years. Well, like I said yesterday, the atmosphere is even, isn't even right. People can sense it. People can sense it. Now, I'm not going to be able to see your comments because now the sun's kind of... But people can even sense that something isn't right. Even the non-believers, if they would admit it... They say, but something just don't feel right. Well, it's because we are living in the last days. What the Bible said would happen is happening. It's happening now. We are there. We are the last generation. We are the last generation. And us ministers, pro ministers, pastors, teachers, it's our job to preach God's word. Like I said yesterday, go to the highways and the byways. And I'm going to get my bullhorn one of these days. I'm going to bring it out here to the park. Now, I can't do it at the, at, at the mall anymore because they said that the higher-ups saw one of the videos. And they said, I have done it three times at the mall. Yes, the Cross County Mall here in Mattoon. I've done street preach. Me and my daughter and my grandson, I, we street preached at the mall. Yes, I did it. Yes, on a bullhorn. On a bullhorn. Yes, I did. Didn't I, Ivy? I did it on a bullhorn, and I'm going to do it again. Jordan laughs, my, my grandson. But I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. I mean, so, but anyway, all right. Oh, my. Let's see. Hang on just a second here. I love getting into God's Word. I love getting into God's Word. Isaiah chapter 3. I'm going to get all over on the other side of the table, see if that helps. Like I said there before, it can only glory that this can happen to only me, you know it. it. Never ceases to amaze me. Hang on a second. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to get on the other side of the table here. See if that's any better. Hopefully it will be better. <laughs> I have to laugh. I have to laugh. Only me. Only me, people. Hang on just a second. Yeah, that's a little better, I think. My Bible. Okay. You know, people, people that's known me, people that's known me for years, you know, they say, that's not the Gloria we remember. I mean, yeah, I was, I was happy and jolly, and I joined along with people years and years ago, but I tried to shy away from any public. I didn't like being out in the public too much. What the heck? 
Yeah, I didn't like being out in the public, you know, and, uh, but now, I mean, it doesn't bother me anymore. It doesn't bother me, you know. Take your time, Mom. I am. I'm trying to, darling. Bless her heart. I love Darlene. She's precious. She's precious. Okay, let's see. All right, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read some of, of of Isaiah 53. Okay. Okay. Still says there's only one. Must be. Uh, I guess Darlene. Oh. Is situated. Isaiah 53. All right. Okay, who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed, or doctrine? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form, nor, no, nor comeliness. And we shall see him. There is no beauty that we should desire him. A lamb to the slaughter is at the top of the page. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And, he, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. We esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions; he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. With his stripes we are healed. He took his sins on that cross for us. He took his he took all the sin. I didn't I mean didn't mean his sins. He took all the sins of the world on that cross he, sh he shed his blood on that cross for us he, he bled and he died and then he, he, he arose the third day he arose the third day and wow I feel the Holy Spirit I feel the Holy Spirit thank you Jesus thank you Jesus I can always tell when the Holy Spirit just kind of just surrounds me wow and see, the Lord, know, the Lord knows how I am, people. The Lord knows Gloria. The Lord knows me. He knows my heart. He knows how I am. He doesn't like. He doesn't want to overwhelm me too much. That's why he usually gives me little things. And sometimes when I get visions, when he gives me open visions, you know, um, it, it really shocks me. I mean, it, it just... I've had open visions of earthquake, of a massive earthquake, and water coming right at me. And in big headlines, massive earthquake. Massive earthquake. I think that's the vision I had back June the 11th. I think that was last year, 2016, I think. June the 11th. Massive earthquake. I also had a dream about Dale Earnhardt Jr., the race car driver. We used to like Dale. We used to, we used to like NASCAR. But I had a dream. Number 88 was flashing, like a neon sign, number eight, number 88. Now, there was, now that was at Daytona. Now, there was a wreck, but Junior wasn't in it. Junior wasn't, he wasn't in it. But that was one of the dreams that I had. The number 88 sign flashing. And there, it was like a two-parter. Part of the dream was like an earthquake. Everybody was trying to get out of the, the grandstands. And then there, 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 was, a mat, there was a massive car pile up on the racetrack said junior 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 was really badly hurt possibly maybe he, he got he was killed but everybody but there was two things going on people were trying to scramble to get out to, to get out of the grandstands yeah yeah and i've journaled i've journaled i've journaled it i can't give you the exact date right now but I, I've, I've journaled it lots of dreams that i've had i've had lots of dreams and i've had i think three open visions Three open visions. I was at the mall. It happened at 6 or 7 p.m. Uh, a few months ago. I was in the bathroom and I felt felt a shaking under me, like an earthquake. 6 or 7 p.m. And I didn't know if it was it was for our for our area or not. I didn't know. So I, I wrote it down. I wrote the date down. It, it's at home in my in my journal. And uh, but yeah, yeah. I mean, he he, he gives me. And I'll see flashes of things. I'll see flashes of things. I mean, I don't know what got me on all that, but that's okay. That's okay. Go with the spirit, Darlene says. All right. Yeah, like I said, you know. At least, I, at least I'm doing it. At least I'm on here. I'm doing this. 
right? I'm doing it. You know, there's lots of other people that should get on here and do scopes or videos about Jesus, getting the word out that Jesus loves you and, and you know, to, to win people to Jesus. There should be other people that should do it too. All right. Okay. All right, let's see. He was wounded for our... I'm going to read five, verse 5 again. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. That's what's going on now. Everybody's turning to their own way. They're doing their own thing. They don't want no part of Jesus. They don't want to hear it. That's what's going on now, like I said a while ago. Like Sodom and Gomorrah. All the wickedness, the immorality, going, doing their own thing, doing their own thing, and they're going to be caught unaware. They're going to be caught unaware. Wow. Okay, let's see. Verse number 8, he was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. That's in re reference to Daniel 9.26. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. The Lord had done no violence. He did anything, didn't do anything wrong. And these, the crowd said, crucify him, crucify him. He went through that horrible death on that cross. That horrible death on that cross. Wow. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He put, he hath put him in him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great, <clears throat> and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul into death. And he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. For the transgressors. If anybody's, if anybody's uh, commenting, I can't, I can't read, I can't read the comments right now because we're, I'm in the sun. <clears throat> wow, 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 wow. I just want to sit here just a minute. Just, just sit here for a minute. Between the beautiful breeze and the Holy Spirit, I just feel. Just feel completely at peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. Wow. Praise God, hallelujah. Huh? Yeah, you can if you want to. That would help. Okay. All right, let's see. Verse number 12 of chapter 6 of Ezekiel. Oh, Ezekiel. I'm in Ezekiel. Okay, verse number 12. He that is far off shall die of the pestilence, and he that is near shall fall by the sword, and he that remaineth and is besieged shall die by the famine. Thus will I accomplish my fury upon them. He's... he's he has sent his warnings. He keeps sending his warnings, and warnings come before destruction. We are in the ninth hour of judgment. The ninth hour, the ninth hour, the ninth hour of warnings. All right, verse. Let's see. Hang on a minute. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. all your dwelling places, the city shall be laid waste, and the high places shall be desolate, and your and your altars may be laid waste, and made desolate, and your idols may be broken and cease, and your images may be cut down, and your works may be abolished, and the slain shall fall in the midst of you, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Yet will I leave a, re a remnant, a remnant. We are the end time remnant warriors, the end time remnant warriors, and that's what I, what I said a long time ago, and it was changed to something else. That ye may have some that shall escape the sword among the nations, when ye shall be scattered through the countries. 
And they, sh and they that escape of you shall remember me among the nations, whether they shall be carried captives, because I am broken with their whorish heart. I am broken with their whorish heart, which hath departed from me, and with their eyes, which go a-whoring after their idols. Get a load of this. And they shall loathe themselves for the evils which they have committed in all their abominations. And they shall know that I am the Lord, and that I have not said in vain that I would do this evil unto them. Thus saith the Lord God, smite with thine hand, and stamp with thy foot, and say, Alas, for all the evil abominations of the house of Israel, for they shall fall by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. Pestilences, earthquakes, famine. Wow. Verse number 12, again, I'm going to read it again in uh, chapter 6 of Ezekiel. He that is afar off shall die of the pestilence, and he that is near shall fall by the sword, and he that remaineth and is beseeched shall die by the famine. Thus will I accomplish my fury upon them. Then shall ye know that I am the Lord, when their slain men shall be among their idols around about their altars, upon every high hill and all the tops of the mountains, and under every green tree and under every thick oak, the place where they did offer sweet savor to all their idols. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Idols, worshiping, worshiping idols, and there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that are classified as idols. Lots of things, and pe people have said that my my crosses. I don't idolize my crosses. I don't think of them as idols. I don't think of them as idols. If I thought I did, if I thought I did, I would throw them all in the trash. I don't think of my my crosses as idols. It's just who it represents, who and what I represent, and that's my Lord and my Savior Jesus Christ. Wow. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to read, I'm going to read Psalms 91. Psalms 91. Psalms 91. Oh, there goes my papers. There <laughs> goes my papers. It says I have two. Psalms 91. Some people usually leave when I read Psalms 91, and they shouldn't. They shouldn't. Psalms 91 is a very important, it's for our protection to come against the wiles of the devil. Okay, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my re refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. And good evening, Patrick. I think Patrick Dunyon, I think, came on. I think he did. Yeah, he did. Well, hello, Brother Patrick. I'm glad you joined. God bless you. God bless you. I have to see that one. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. And I'm Pastor Gloria, as you, as you already know. God bless you. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth that noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. It shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And I want to say something else, too, that I said yesterday on there. I'm going to say it again. People should stop being so religious and get a relationship, a relationship with Jesus Christ. Now, it's not about religion. All these different denominations are man-made. They're all mad, man-made. We are supposed to get a, have a relationship with Jesus, pure and simple. God didn't intend all these man-made religions. And what about this new thing now, the new world order? And that don't mean uh, what a person might think it means. No, no. We believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. 
the one that God raised from the dead three he raised from the day the dead three days he arose Jesus Christ is the Son of God he is the, the true Son of God he, he lives he lives he lives and I'll say it again it's not about all these organized religions they're all man-made they're all man-made we should all be in unity all be in unity the body of Christ all be in unity one mind and one accord one mind and one accord amen one mind and one accord and stop judging people stop pointing fingers at people you're going to hell for this you're going to hell for that we have not the right to judge nobody we all will have to stand before the judgment seat of Christ we all will I'm not perfect that's why the Lord called me because I'm not perfect Nobody is perfect on this earth. Nobody will ever be perfect on this earth. And these, these so-called religious, religious people that sit and they gossip, talk about people, what are they doing? What are they doing? You think God's pleased with that? No. No. He isn't pleased. He's not pleased. Patrick says, keep speaking the word, Gloria. Glory to him. God bless. God bless you too, Patrick. I'm glad, I'm glad that you joined. It's a little warm out here today. We've got some cold weather coming. But anyway, um, I'm going to come back on here again. Later on, I'm going to... Uh, I read uh, Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, and a few other written scriptures. I'm going to find some more scriptures dealing with witchcraft, everybody. Dealing with witchcraft. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be on Periscope. Or here, I may I may go on do it on 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 Periscope. I don't know, and I may come back on Facebook since I've been doing doing it on Facebook. You know, I may go ahead and get back on Facebook. So um, let, let's do the Lord's prayer. All right, let's do the Lord's prayer, and then I'll finish it up. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said amen. And all we have to do is believe upon the Son of God. Believe that, that God is his Jesus' his Father. Jesus is the Son. That he raised him from the dead three days after he was he was buried he raised him from the dead and give, just say Jesus come, and, come into my heart forgive me of all my sins forgive me of all my sins Lord maybe there's some things I don't understand Lord but I'm willing to learn I'm willing to learn Lord and let, let him walk with you and guide you let the Holy Spirit lead and guide you that's what I do every day and we have to, we, we cannot, we, we are not supposed to be conformed into this world. We are to come, to, to, to come out of this world, out of the darkness and into the light. And Jesus is the light, the truth and the light. Jesus is that truth. The, the world has nothing to offer us, people. The world has nothing to offer us. But eternal life through Jesus Christ, eternally in heaven with Jesus Christ. Like I said, like I said before, there there are two paths. One path leads to the devil and his angels and followers to destruction, which is in hell, which is hell. The other path leads to heaven and Jesus. And all all of all of everybody that's in the Bible, Moses and all the prophets, all the, we'll get to meet them all if, we, if we're in heaven. We'll get to meet every we'll get to meet them all. Praise the Lord. We'll get to meet them all. The word of season for my sister. Help me, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this moment in time of glory. Because I needed the word, the world of season for my sister. Of course. Well, thank you, Brother Patrick. The Lord told me to come on here. And he, he's never late and he's always on time. He's always on time. You're in my prayers. You're in, and the Lord is there with you, Patrick. He's there with you. He's there. For my God shall supply all of my needs. For my God shall supply all of my needs. We're at, we're, 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 when we're in our darkest hour, we call upon the name of, the, of the Jesus. We call upon the name of the Lord, and He He helps. He is there to comfort us. He's 
He's there to comfort us. Amen. Amen. Like I said, you know, and I'll keep saying this to, to my dying breath. I will proclaim my Lord and my Savior Jesus Christ until my dying breath. Many have lost, lost their lives. Many will. Many will. It's coming. It's coming. They'll be, will, will be martyred, murdered, if we believe in Jesus. If we believe in Jesus. Hold fast. Hold strong to the Word of God and to our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Hold fast. Don't give up the fight. Don't give up the faith. Even when you feel like you can't go another step, when you feel like you can't go another step, holler, holler out to Jesus. Say, Jesus, Jesus, I need you. Jesus. And he'll give you peace. Peace that surpasseth all understanding. Peace that surpasseth all understanding. And when we think that our prayers aren't being answered, he goes way ahead of us to, pre to prepare the way. Sometimes he says yes, sometimes no, and sometimes maybe, maybe. But we have to wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. I'm guilty of that, of being impatient, being impatient. So finally, when he kept saying, wait upon me, daughter, wait upon me, that's what I'm doing. I'm waiting upon the Lord. If I'm supposed to stay here in Illinois, or if I'm supposed to go to Tennessee or wherever, I'm waiting upon the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So I love you guys. I love you one and all. I'm so glad that, that you joined. And, and to, to the ones that's going to be replay, watch the replay of this, God bless you all. God bless you one and all. And you, do, and you do truly have a friend in Jesus. You have a friend in Jesus. He will never leave us. Men will forsake us, people. Men will forsake us, but Jesus never leaves us. And we, we might leave Jesus, but he never leaves us. He never leaves us. Yes. Yes, ma'am. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Yes. In all, yes, yes. Always acknowledge Jesus. Put Jesus first. Put him first above anyone, above anything. And he will take us through the darkest hours. He will take us through. Amen. So put on, so remember, eyes to the sky. For we know not when our Lord will return. We know not the day or the hour. We must put on the whole armor of God, the breastplate of right righteousness and the helmet of salvation and take up the shield of faith take up the shield of faith to be able to come up against the wiles of the devil because he seeks to kill steal and destroy and we know that we have to get stay prayed up stay armored up stay armored up in the name of the father the son and the holy ghost i bid you all a good evening until my next facebook video or my periscope periscope is an app people that don't don't know what periscope is it's like live tv it's about like this, kind of like, but it's better. You, you can give you can give the hearts. I, I love Periscope. So I'm on Periscope, too. So, all righty. I love you guys. I love you guys. I'll talk to you all later. Have a blessed evening. Have a blessed evening. Good night. Until later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay. Well, got through that one all right. Got through that one. I gotta put this back on charge. That's Facebook. That's Facebook Live. And I'm gonna go ahead and upload. <clears throat> I'm gonna upload my other one that I did yesterday. I'm, I'm gonna put it on there too. So anyway, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we're up to almost 50 minutes. So, Reverend Pastor Gloria loves you all. To all my YouTube subscribers, each and every one of you, may God richly bless you. And remember, yes, we do have a friend in Jesus. When all else, when everybody else fails us, we can always turn to the Lord. We can always do it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer, everybody. Okay. Good night for, for right now. Okay. God bless you.